gather all your thoughts and bring them right here, right to the present moment. Think thoughts of goodwill, which is a wish for true happiness. Your happiness that comes from within and other people's happiness is going to come from within. Which means you can spread this thought all around without any conflict, because your true happiness doesn't have to take anything away from anyone else's. This is where goodwill is different from love. Love is partial. There's some people you love and other people you have a lot of trouble loving because they've been misbehaving. And the Buddha's not asking you to love them, but he does ask you to have goodwill. May they change their ways. Love is undependable. When you love somebody, if anybody mistreats that person, you're going to hate the person who mistreats them. Or if there's somebody you hate and somebody does something nasty to that, you're going to love the person who, who mistreats the person you hate. It's all very partial. What we're trying to develop here is an attitude that is impartial, because we need it in order to trust ourselves. When we're dealing with difficult people, if you don't have goodwill for them, it's going to be very easy to mistreat them. And then whose karma is that? It's your karma. And you're going to have to suffer the consequences. So for your own protection, make sure that you have goodwill for everybody. And we start with that attitude, and then you come to the breath. It's because you realize that this is one good way of finding happiness that doesn't harm anybody at all. So even when you're having difficulty staying with the breath, you realize that, okay, this is a good thing to be doing. All too often we come to the meditation because we want to hit a pleasure, a hit of peace. And we don't like it when there's work to be done. But you have to keep reminding yourself, this is good work. If you're not working here, where are you working? You're going to be working on finding happiness in a way that's going to cause somebody some trouble. So remember that this is good work that we're doing. Whether it's easy or hard, it's still good. The Buddha said, even if you're practicing and tears are running down your face because of the things you're giving up, still, he said, stick with the practice. The tears are a very short-term problem compared to the long-term problems you can create if you're not practicing. So on days when the practice is not going well, remind yourself it's better than not practicing. At least you're leaving the door open to something much better. If you don't practice, you just close the door. So leave that door open. <laughs>